welcome back again and tonight we are having lots of fun. We have Apurva Shah with us. He came all the way from Gujarat in India. We are talking to him about his musical life, his teaching life. He was a teacher, he was teaching in Gujarat. Uh, anyway, we are in conversation with Apurva Shah. Apurva, once again, uh, just before we went on break, <laughs> we were talking about the rejection you had. I had people getting rejected by girls and, you know, maybe when you ask someone for a date and you get rejected. Yeah, that, that's how I developed the experience <laughs> of being rejected. <laughs> huh? So, yes, when it comes to music, yes, I was rejected, not most of the times, but all the time. Uh -huh. uh, let, let it be the school time or the college. You know, the musicians who came to select the guys for the talent shows and all. Uh -huh. So, they made sure that they reject me for some particular reason that I have. So how did you manage yourself? So, Obviously you so are really young really and when you get rejection, yeah, yeah. you know, you get yeah. demoralized, you get upset, you feel... Yeah, but upset. later I, I started enjoying that, you know, because you get used to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, like if there were 10 people to be selected, if they see me then they will count only 9 in the queue oh. because they knew that they are not going to select <laughs> me, so it is just 9. So. Yes, but then uh, the passion was there and I always wanted to come up with something that was within me and I wanted to show the world that yes, you are very even I can, yeah, 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 so. And I know music bought you the most important thing in your life and I will definitely talk about that. Yes. But before we go on to that subject, I want to listen to another song. Yes, please. sure. Which, which song are you going to sing for our viewers now? Yes, I would rather sing it and let you know. Yes, yeah. please. हर घड़ी बदल रही है रूप जिंदगी छाव है कभी कभी है धूप जिंदगी हर पल यहाँ जी भर जियो तो है समा कल हो न हो हर घड़ी बदल रही है रूप जिंदगी छाव है कभी कभी है धूप जिंदगी हर पल यहाँ जी भर जियो जो है समा कल हो न हो जो तुम्हें पूरे दिल से मिलता है वो मुश्किल से ऐसा जो कोई कहीं है बस वही सब से हसी है उस हाथ को तुम थाम लो जो कल हो न हो हर घड़ी बदल रही है रूप जिंदगी छाव है कभी कभी है धूप जिंदगी हर बल यहाँ जी भर जियो जो है समा कल हो न पर 
पहले सोच लो इस पल है जो कल हो न हो हर घड़ी बदल रही है रूप जिंदगी छाव है कभी कभी है रूप जिंदगी हर पल यहाँ जी भर जियो तो है समा कल हो न हो पल यहाँ जी भर जियो जो है समा कल हो ना हो वाओ वंडरफुल थैंक यू When I saw this movie first time, I was really emotional. It was very touching, yeah. Exactly, and uh, you know, we, we were talking about just before we were talking about love, dedication, and emotion. And this movie has everything in it, isn't it? Yes. And especially Shah Rukh Khan and uh, yeah. he's Saif the king Khan. of emotions. Of course, of course, yeah. that's why they call him the king of <laughs> love. Uh, and uh, Bachcha Khan. <laughs> yeah, Bachcha Khan, and he's done it really well. And I love the movie. I think it's a wonderful movie. Anyway, going back to yourself, you're talking about. music what something special in your life yes um obviously something very special you now you're spending your life with a person what actually yes. happened are, are you i want to find out from yourself yes it happened as such that i uh, while i was back home in india and uh, i was relocated in my job and i was looking for some sort of accommodation <laughs> and i happened to come across a person uh, who had a flat and he wanted to rent that out for me so I just settled there, and uh, these people were basically uh, from a different faith. Uh, they were Muslims, and uh, I am born in a Catholic Christian, Catholic, Catholic, Catholic Christian, Christian yeah, Catholic, so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but we really became good friends. The reason behind this friendship was that the person whom I met there, uh, he used to sing with the legendary Muhammad Rafi Saab as a chorus singer. He, he was one That's of the. That's your father-in-law. Yeah, yes, yeah. and uh, later on, because my father, Mr. Paul Joseph, even he. Uh, was a very well known violinist so later they become very good friends family friends and they decided that i get married to his daughter and uh, that's so how you, yeah, yeah, so, and uh, it was probably i have never come across any uh, any such case in india where a marriage is held as an arranged marriage between two different entirely different faiths yeah. there are, there must be a lot of love marriages but arranged marriage no i haven't come so how does that affect you now now that obviously um, you you you're married to a muslim family your your background is christian totally different religion does that affect you any but any it's way? the same as it was then you know it, the the faith the religion has never come in between us and we are living a wonderful life here we got a son rian his four now and uh, he's been enjoying life here yeah. you see what i really want to know from yourself is we live in a world where this society give us so many things from criminals to lovers to everything you know we have problems with people we have problem with religion and especially right now uh, you know you know there's big buzz going on around the world with muslim and terrorism and all of that kind of thing now you are part of a muslim family now muslim culture Do you how do you see that do you feel actually uh, some people say muslims are terrorists that's that's what it is <laughs> that's really funny yeah. i mean i read on the metro today uh, on the newspaper that this 10 year old child he was just spelling something and he misspelled he was yes i, 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 I knew and and yeah. the police had to intervene they had yeah. to uh, go in yeah, there and yeah. talk about uh, that was very harsh uh, you know 10 yeah, years old child yeah. how can he how can, how can he do it's this? got a different perspective to look at you know it's just that police might say that they just wanted to make sure that people are uh, safe uh, yeah. so so how how do you feel you come into a different world different family different religion yes because probably that was uh, again it was because of music because i never thought anything which was not music okay and the music was so much into their family our family that uh, i found it very easy and uh, i thought the uh, the faith it shouldn't come in between us and it hasn't comes even now you yes. see I, i've been to india i've been to pakistan i've been to calcutta but what i realize is it's just a human being that say we don't have any problem with exactly. religion exactly. religion doesn't even come into it religion it just stays where it is i mean why should we affect we are all human being doesn't matter 
what background you're from, or whether you're from a, a white family, black family, Chinese family, shouldn't matter. Or, and similarly, any religion shouldn't matter really. If, you, if you're a good it's person, you're a good time, person. Yeah, it's high time that uh, people need to learn this and not just in words, but they should actually practice this. But what shocked me is, is that this is 2016. We should be going beyond all of that. You know, religion is, your religion is your faith. Whatever you do, wherever you go and pray, you go to temple, I go to mosque. That's the only difference. Yeah. We pray to the same God and, you know, we should really cut this barrier out of our ways. And anyway, <laughs> I'm yeah. getting emotional here. <laughs> Let's move on to another song. Which song? So I, probably I'll set an example. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely because I don't believe in, look, when I see a person struggling, whether it's Hindu, Muslim, Christian, whatever, I don't ask about their religion. I just can't help them because they need help. Similarly, when I need help, my friends, they come to me, they help me. They don't look at me what religion I'm from. That's me, what is about being human. Exactly, exactly. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Papa, are we going to listen to another song? Sure. We, which song uh, are you going to sing for us? Jiya jaye na jaye na jaye na Ore piya re Muskurane ki vaja tum ho Gungunane ki vaja tum ho
another beautiful track. Thank you. Um, it's really nice that you've been singing some wonderful tracks tonight for us and you know, we're having a conversation as well. What I really want to know is that 2007 uh, was an important year for you and this is when you came to yes. UK, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, that, uh, and you transformed yourself from teacher to a singer. Yes, I did. What, what happened then? Well, as I've been saying, that music was always the priority, but I never got an opportunity before. But when I came to UK, it happened as I was uh, using a cyber cafe so that I can surf the internet. And uh, I was... So you were searching? Website. Yeah. So Let me come back to you on that because sure. I have to go for another break now. Dear viewers, uh, Shomai Boladichu, we have to go for another break. Shatai Thakun, we'll be back very soon. Yeah.